Hello, everyone. This is Gander. Welcome back to Valkyrie Profile. I gotta find my controller. I'm never ready when I do this. Just, just a heads up. Okay. Now, we were going into Clockwork Mansion. But, I'm gonna have to go back on what I said in the last video. I'm not gonna see you at Clockwork Mansion. We actually have some stops to make before then. Uh, we are going to go back to... Janice's village over here because there's a lot of story here actually and also we can get an item it's a really good item we like it Janice likes it and we're in uh, Trell Monfere I have no idea how that's actually pronounced but we're gonna take a look at all the different things in the city while we're here and that girl right there next to Platina is Jail. I received a report that something was going on here. Is that you? Hey, I don't like the feel of this. Let's get out of here. I I didn't do nothing. So they're the those two are members of the town guard. They're kind of hassling the bar patrons about something. But uh, it's important to remember who Jail is. Because she pops up later in a different place. What do these guys have to say? Anything interesting? A lotus flower, blah blah blah. Yes, flowers and hope both wither with the passing of time. As someone once told me, or I read it somewhere, I'm not sure where, that the entire story of a relationship is written upon a flower. It starts out as nothing. It grows, it blossoms, it withers, and it falls apart. And then it dies. Just saying. Janice's house. When I said farewell to the knighthood, I sealed her away so that she would never again be used. You got the Raven Slayer. It does extreme damage against uh, flying creatures. Like that harpy we fought earlier. That would have been a sweet weapon to have for that. Luyan's house. Anything special in here? No, actually. But it's really kind of funny to think about how Luyan and Janice were neighbors at one point. Janice having been not here for so long, Luyan probably only ever would have seen him when he was a little kid. But it's still kind of interesting. This is Milia's house. I knew it. I knew this was going to happen. I knew what was going to happen. I want to talk to her mom, damn it. Milia. She's just kind of staring off blankly into the mirror. Still not over things. Now, there's actually something useful up here. Well, not so much useful, but as useful information. There's, like, little tips hidden throughout the game. If you remember the guy talking about the traps in Artolia, this guy also has something else to say. You're interested in armor, even though you're a girl? You say yes. Armor isn't just for lessening the damage you take, you know. Take a helmet, for example. It makes it tougher to go unconscious. Boots affect your dodging ability, and gauntlets improve your chance of defending a blow. Just because their defensive power is, is low doesn't mean you can ignore defensive items other than armor. So a strong helm makes you more resistant to faints. Gauntlets make you good. Gauntlets make you more likely to actually block attacks, and uh, good boots make you more likely to dodge. Let's see what he says if we pick the other option. Oh, I see. I want to go in there, but I can't. Corrupt politicians and shit. What's this way? Oh, this is the forest. Seems like it would have been further outside of town than that. But, you know, maybe not. And that's really all that we do here, is we see Luyan's house, Milia's house, Janice's house, the forest. We, uh, see Jail in the bar. And then we leave. And we're still not going to Clockwork Mansion. Guys, yeah. Sorry about that. We're going back to Camille Village, where we got Cashel. 
Why? Because there's something we can do here. And it is a very awesome something. Now you recognize all the broken statues and things like that from when we were here to get casual, of course. But what else is different? It's just a house. It's got cobwebs and things everywhere. I'm going to try and talk at an angle because I sort of have my microphone in a different place. That way it's easier to hear the sound. Because it was closer to one speaker than the other before. Nothing in this house. It was closer to one speaker than the other before, and that made the noise a little funny. What's in here? Anything interesting? Nope. Oh, that's just an exit. Okay, well, we don't want to go there. We want to go back this way. Wait, did we go in this one right here? I don't remember if we did or not. I think we did. I'm, I think I remember going in there. You know what? I don't remember, so let's just go. I like how she walks, like, all the way into the background to go in there. Oh, yeah, we were in here. Nothing in there. And over here, you can go down towards the church in that background you see there. There's a lady. The few who survived are hiding in the church. Let's go in the church. kid. Mommy. And they're all upset and uh, kind of at wit's end trying to figure out what they're going to do. Huh? Cashel. This is my sewing. Did Celia do it? It appears so. Even if I carry this, I won't be punished? And you get the Vein Slayer. What does that do? No, not... Oh, it's just got, like, bonus damage against things that are weak to darkness. Two attacks. But well, it's a human-made weapon, so it has a chance of breaking, which kind of sucks. Whoa, what's this? Those doors open. Ooh. We're gonna have to go investigate. And what have we found? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a hidden dungeon. And I'll talk to you more about that in the next video here. I like the music, it's awesome. All the music in this game is awesome. I'm gonna cut the video. 